something that came in the mail. Another one, dude. What? <laughs> Another one. Um. Yeah. <laughs> it's been an incredibly long winter, and it's not even over. We've done everything we can think of to keep our minds occupied and deal with this constant winter boredom. It's tough when you're used to doing something all the time. You're always used to getting ready to go do something someplace. You're getting ready to travel. There's work to be done on the race cars. And we just haven't had that. Although Billy's been working on his Nova, we've been building RC cars and race cars drag cars like this little farm truck. <sighs> Billy's got it bad. He has resorted to this torch to dry up parking garage floors so that he can go test and hold cash days races for RC cars. You can't make this up. It's in his blood but it's starting to warm up now and the road's calling. It's time to get after it.
So after I dug the trailer out, it was time to get this truck ready. We got it fired up, but Billy said it didn't want to idle right, and I had a sneaking suspicion that it had gummed up the carburetor from sitting for a couple of months with alcohol in it. The tools you need for this project <laughs> is a 516 nut driver. That's it. What are you doing? Two angles. Oh, Jesus Christ. So. Quit. <laughs> I don't want to take this power valve out. I'm take it apart, clean it out good. We don't need any problems with our boosty boost. And that definitely looks like problems with our boosty boost. That's just full of gummy gum. Whew, that's terrible. Hmm. Hmm. So after finding a considerable amount of crud and gum collected into the front power valve. I decided to just go ahead and pull the entire carburetor part, check the front and rear bowls, check the needle and seats, and take both power valves apart. I'm gonna fire up my parts cleaner back here. I got a special thing just for that. I use this little crock pot my wife gave me for antifreeze to put small parts in to clean up because the antifreeze won't attack the rubber, but it cleans everything off the aluminum. It's definitely why we should take it apart and clean it before we go to Texas. We don't work on it until we're broke. <laughs> it's not lying. You've probably put more work into the snow than you put into your S10 in the last four months. That's facts. Listen here. The S10's good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. She's Gucci. If it wasn't for the S10 being Gucci the last six months, I probably wouldn't be able to do that. might be a good idea now this power valve that you see me working on here is a boost reference power valve that kevin vanoy uses in his csu carburetors the brass centerpiece that i screwed out right there holds pressure against the spring which i'm pulling out here now you see the spring pulling it out okay that spring holds pressure on the power valve and keeps the power valve closed the more tension that you put on the spring, the more boost it takes to open the power valve. Now, I usually set those at about two turns in from flush. That way, when you do the burnout and the truck starts to build boost, it doesn't prematurely open the power valve and flood the engine with excess alcohol. This is my crock pot. And it's full of antifreeze. Just regular green antifreeze. Plug the crock pot in. It boils. And it will clean those pieces parts without destroying the rubber. Once those are done, I'll go ahead and put the metering blocks in. So close. Unfortunately, when I went to put the carburetor back together, one of the bowl screws stripped out of the main body, which meant 
we have to go to jigs because the bowl screws are a holly thread only and only holly sells the repair kit. Hey, we I, wouldn't. I was having a heart attack while I was watching. We wouldn't do that to you, T Mac. I know you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. You see where we're at, right? I love Molly too. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I still love her, even though she's you know, cheating on me. That's all. <laughs> 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 yeah, we wouldn't do that to T Mac. She's going up on the engine night every day. Is she? Excellent. She uses a carburetor off Tommy's for now. That's cool. Old T Mac, Terry McMullen. He's my buddy. Terry's had a rough year, well, year and a half now. He had a stroke a few months ago, got over that, and then got COVID-19. Luckily, his doctor saved him, got him medicated, took care of him before it got in his lungs. We never miss an opportunity to hang out with Terry for a few minutes and talk. He always takes good care of us. Once we got our tires and our parts for the carburetor lined up, we headed home. It's time to get to work. <laughs> 